let's clarify some terminology here. Now we can describe a relation using a set of points, whether in a table or a list, a graph, and or an equation. So relations should be pretty familiar to you in any of these forms. So let's talk about a particular kind of relation, a function. Now, a function is simply a relation that has only one y value for any x value. Easy enough concept, right? So let's take a look at some ways to recognize whether a relation is also a function. Some examples. Are these relations also functions? And we're thinking back to our criteria. A function has only one y value for any x value. And this means that for every value on the left, the x value, you need to have only one value on the right, the y value. For example, this table is definitely a function in that no x value is repeated here. Thus, there's only one y value for any given x value. Now, if we changed this last set of data, we can see now that we have a duplicate on the left. And we can see that when x is 1, we have two y values, plus 2 and plus 4. Thus, this relation is no longer a function. Sometimes, the relation is described in a set like this instead, just a different format. And we know that the first number in each pair is the x value and the second number is the y value. So we look at our list and we ensure that for any of our x values, there's only one y value. This relation is a function. In that again, we notice that there are no duplicate x values. So clearly a function. But what if we change this value to two? Now we have x equals two twice and each x value has a different y value. And we know to be a function, we're limited to only one y value for any x value. Thus, we would conclude that this relation is no longer a function. Some relations in graphical form this time. Are these relations also functions? So thinking again about our criteria, a function has only one y value for any x value. Now on a graph, we know that the x values are along the x axis here. And the y values are shown along the y axis. So for any x value, for example, x equals 2, we have to ensure that there's only one y value, as we can see is clearly the case here. And we have to check all the x values. And an easy way to do that is called the vertical line test. So doing our vertical line test from left to right on the first relation, we see it's clearly a function. It never intersects more than once on any x position. Doing the vertical line test on the second graph, and we do see that we intersect the relationship more than once. Here's one example of that. It intersects three times. So. This demonstrates that there are multiple y values for that given x value. x equals negative 1 in this case. Thus, this relation is clearly not a function. It fails the vertical line test. A couple of relations in equation form. Are these relations also functions? Again, our criteria, a function has only one y value for any x value. If the relation is provided as an equation, then determining whether there's more than one y value for a given x value can be a tad more challenging. Thus, commonly, we just sort this out by graphing the equation and then do the vertical line test. But given that, there are some common indicators that can help us quickly recognize whether some relations in equation form are also functions. If the y is out front by itself, like this, then we can quickly recognize that this relation is a function. 
If we plug in an X value, we get a single Y value. Straightforward. On the other hand, if the Y is squared, or some even exponent, then we should recognize an interesting situation here. If we were to plug in X equals 1, we'd get Y squared equals 4. And if we were to solve for Y, we see that we have two possible Y values. Y could be plus 2, but it could also be negative 2. Either 1 squared gives you a 4. Thus, we recognize that a single X value, that is X equals 1, has two different corresponding Y values, negative 2 and positive 2. So, this is definitely not a function. So just for curiosity's sake, let's take a look at the graph of this relation. And we can see that it would definitely not pass the vertical line test. And here's our example at x equals 1. And we can clearly see the two corresponding y values. Positive 2 up here, and negative 2 down here. Again, clearly not a function. Another relation in equation form, and the question. Is this one a function? Now, this brings up the other common indicator that a relation in equation form is not a function, and it involves absolute signs. Now, if the y is out by itself in the front like this, then again, we can quickly recognize that this relation is a function. If we plug in an x value, we'll produce a single y value. Thus, a relation with an absolute around the x can certainly still be a function. But given that, if we were to move that absolute sign around the y, then we should recognize another interesting situation. If we were to plug in x equals 2, we'd get the absolute y equals 3. And if we were to solve for y, we would see that there are two possible y values. The y could be plus 3, but it could also be negative 3. Either one, with absolute signs, provides an output of 3. Thus, we recognize that a single x value, that is, in this case, x equals 2, has two, 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 two different y values, negative 3 and positive 3. So it's definitely not a function. Again, for curiosity's sake, let's take a look at this graph and we can see that it would definitely not pass the vertical line test. And here's our example that we used at x equals 2. And we can see the two corresponding y values, plus 3 up here and negative 3 down here. Clearly not a function. In this tutorial, we looked at the definition of a function. That is, a relation that has only one y value for any x value. And how do we determine whether a relation is also a function? Well, in table or list format, we can watch for duplicate x values being listed. And if they do show up, we just have to see, do they have different corresponding y values? If we do find the same x value with two different corresponding y values, we know that it's not a function. If we're given our relation in graphical format, we can use the vertical line test. We run our vertical line from left to right, and if we find that that vertical line can intersect the relation more than once at any x value, we know it's not a function. If we're given our relation in equation format, we can either graph the equation and then use the vertical line test, or Sometimes it's easier to watch for some indicators. Common indicators that we're familiar with are having the y squared or in absolute signs. Either of these help us identify relationships that are not functions.